Burn One of the top Swiss destinations is also the capital city of Switzerland. It's a dreamy place to visit with many architectural and natural sightings to check out. Bern is built around a crook in the Aare River and its origin dates back to the 12th century. Walking around the cobblestone paved streets, you'll pass plenty of old buildings. The medieval architecture of the city is preserved in the old town, or as the locals call it Altstadt, which is protected by the status of UNESCO World Heritage. What to visit in Bern? The Old Town, Kunstmuseum, Museum of Art, Einstein Museum, Einstein House, Rosengarten Park, Berner Munster, and Zeitlage Clock Tower. Zurich Is the financial capital of Switzerland, famous for its luxurious shopping, dining, and entertainment. If you can deal with the sticker shock, this is the best city in Switzerland to buy designer brands and unique boutique items. For outdoor summer fun, make the most of Lake Zurich by renting a canoe, taking a sunset cruise, or jumping in for a dip. The shores of the lake offer biking trails, great dining, and breathtaking views. What to visit in Zurich? Frau Munster Church, Niederdorf in the Old Town, Uetleberg Summit, Lake Zurich, by FA Museum, and Swiss National Museum. Geneva is Switzerland's most multicultural city, thanks in part to it being home to the headquarters of the United Nations. Located in French-speaking Switzerland is Geneva, a city that reveals its charm upon further look, typically recognized as an international business city. Geneva offers a great location to stop over between Italy and France, allowing for a short visit to Switzerland. What to visit in Geneva? Lake Geneva, Temple of Saint-Pierre, Dubourg de Four Square, Botanical Gardens, Mont Blanc Summit, Art and History Museum, and the European Headquarters of the United Nations. Lucerne Characterized by its lake and iconic snow-capped mountains as a backdrop, Lucerne is far and beyond one of the most picturesque cities in Switzerland. The city is compact in size and has one of the friendliest vibes out of all the picks, making it a great pit stop for a day or two to appreciate Swiss hospitality. Lucerne is particularly beautiful in winter. Ski resorts around the city, charming Christmas markets take over the streets, and the Lucerne Carnival, in February, transforms Lucerne into a fantastical celebration of giant masks and floating mythical figures. What to visit in Lucerne? Brook Bridge, Hofkirch Monastery, Mountain Pilatus, Kaol Bridge, Swiss Transport Museum, and Glacier Garden. Basel Basel is nestled right on the Rhine River and enjoys over 300 days of sunshine every year, a perfect combination that invites visitors to canoe down the river, try a dinner cruise, or jump into the clear waters for a swim. During the warmer months, the riverbank is a popular gathering spot, whether that means sitting down on the grass for a picnic, or enjoying one of the many cafes and restaurants that look over the water. Basel's Basler Fashion Act is the biggest carnival celebration in Switzerland. It lasts for three days in February and offers plenty of colorful parades, food stalls, and masked musicians. What to visit in Basel? Kunstmuseum Basel, Museum of Art, Zoologist Ayer Zoo, Basel Minster, Tongali Museum, Tongali Fountain, Paper Mill Museum, and Town Hall. Lausanne A modern city known for commerce and trade fairs, Lausanne isn't just about business. Sits right on Lake Geneva, and it's surrounded by snow-topped mountains. A perfect combination for hikers, swimmers, and those wanting to spend time soaking in the views. If that's not enough, the city is also well known for its chocolate and Swiss cheese, which you can taste at local restaurants and cafes. In summer, the city hosts many free outdoor festivals, including the six-day-long festival La Cité, which attracts musicians, dancers, and performers from all over the country. What to visit in Lausanne? Chateau d'Auchy and Promenade, Collection de l'Art Group, Hermitage Foundation, Olympic Museum, Notre Dame Cathedral, and the Platform 10 Art Museum. Lugano 
located in the south of Switzerland near the Italian border is Lugano, a gorgeous little city on the lake that near enough feels as if you have crossed into Italy, with Italian being the recognized language of the region. Situated on Lake Lugano, this city is incredibly picturesque and a great stopover if traveling between Switzerland and Italy or vice versa. And it's no surprise that the city has become one of the most popular summer destinations in Switzerland. Monte Generoso is particularly popular because of the steep rack railway, a train that takes you to the summit for stunning views as far away as the Matterhorn. What to visit in Lugano? Monte San Salvatore Summit, Santa Maria degli Angeli Church, Brzasca Dam, Monte Brie Dam, Bellinsona's Three Castles, and Lugano Old Town. Sermat. As the most famous ski resort in Switzerland and one of the most renowned in all of Europe, Sermat is as classic and cliché as they come. The small town is covered in a thick blanket of snow throughout the winter, though what makes Sermat so popular is the availability to ski year-round, given its remote location high in the Alps and the assistance of man-made snow machines. Cable cars whisk skiers up surrounding mountains in the winter and hikers in the summer. Sermat is a good town for walking to various sites, since gasoline-driven vehicles are not permitted, any vehicles within the city limits must be battery-operated. What to visit in Sermat? Summit of the Gornagrad, Matterhorn Museum, Mountaineer Cemetery, and Hinterdorf, which means rear village. Freiburg With a stunning location straddling the gorge that splits the city in two parts, Freiburg is certainly dramatic to behold and there are a number of great views to be had from the city itself. Rising above the Samara River, a couple of picturesque bridges join the western, French-speaking part of the city with the eastern part which speaks German. The city of Freiburg hosts many festivals throughout the year, such as the Freiburg Carnival in February, open-air music events on the beach during the summer, and special celebrations in September to October, when the cows come down from the mountains to spend the winter indoors. There's also a major St. Nicholas parade in early December and open-air cinemas during the warmer months. What to visit in Freiburg? Old Town, Cathedral of St. Nicholas, Baroque Loreto Chapel, and the Art History Museum. Interlaken Interlaken's unique location between two lakes, Lake Brienz and Lake Thun, makes it a breathtaking spot for a vacation. Here, you can spend hours hiking various trails, taking in the castle-studded shores of Lake Thun on a boat cruise, or gazing at the surrounding mountains from the Harder Kulm observation deck. To see more of the region's stunning scenery, go for a ride on the Skinage Platt Railway, or sign up for a paragliding or skydiving excursion. What to visit in Interlaken? St. Beatus Cave and Waterfalls, Harder Kulm, Skinage Platt Trails, Swiss Open Air Museum Ballenberg, and Lake Thun and Lake Greens. Thanks for watching.